In this video, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to create a new listing using the Amazon bulk flat file. There are different terms for the flat file, such as the listing loader, template, bulk listing files, but the objective is basically the same. You either create or update a listing on Amazon using a spreadsheet and then uh, upload it to the system. The use of a flat file is very important knowledge to have as an Amazon sellers because there are just some situations where you cannot create or make changes uh, on your listing using the seller central front end or using a flat file is just much more efficient than say creating 50 listing using seller central. If you are interested in adding a flat file to your Amazon selling CV, stay tuned. I'm Rick Wong, an Amazon seller and also the marketing manager here at Landing Queue. And if you are interested in content such as this one where we geek out on Amazon, I invite you to subscribe. So uh, first of all, you need to have like a UPC and GS1 to create a new listing. So I'm not going to, um, you know, um, talk about that in too much detail. But once you have a GS1 uh, and purchase uh, some UPC, you are going to, um, under the products tab, you're going to go to add new products, right? And then you put the basic information. I'm just going to do um, test product one. I can also uh, always change this. And then this is my brand name. Your SKU, let's just say, uh, okay, so that's my SKU. So just any one that you so choose. And then once you save and continue, it's going to provide you with a UPC code. Uh, they're going to say, let us uh, let us assign your G10, which is very similar to UPC. So you can see my UPC here, save and continue, done. So uh, you could uh, change that to uh, set to use, or I could just do a pre-market right now. So now, um, now you have your UPC in hand. So if I were to go here, I see my UPC. Let's copy that down. The next thing that you will do is uh, get, go to catalog, go to add products via upload. Okay. And then the... The particular um, file that you need to download for a new listing would be under a uh, download spreadsheet. And uh, you're going to say your uh, products that are not currently in the Amazon catalog. So you're going to go to get product template. Uh, you're going to select, you're going to select, uh, so this is like for .com. So I'm going to select .com. And the next thing is that you got to choose the particular um, category that you want to sell the product in, right? That also will determine the flat file that Amazon will create for you. So the product that I'm selling is, uh, I'm going to say camera cases. So that is the product I'm selling. So that would be this one right here. Uh, accessory bag, camera accessory, that one right here. And then you are going to select, uh, so I'm select uh, amazon.com already. So no need to select. So if you're actually selling in these, these, these different marketplaces, Amazon can populate the template for you. And um, obviously, the you know, if it's non-English, then it's going to populate fields that are in, say, German, French, Italian, and Spanish as well. So um, so let's just say you have the template as in, uh, you can actually have it in English and Chinese as well, right? Um, have Chinese instruction on one thing. So let's do English, uh, generate template, right? So it's done. So... Um, so in this situation, I'm going to, yeah, so the camera cases, save. I already did this previously, so you could, um, so that's why it's like overriding. So the actual template, um, you know, I'm going to open it up. Okay, so this is the actual template. And uh, basically, if you actually want to create a new listing, just basically follow the instructions. Uh, I know like there's like a lot of stuff here, very convoluted. The key thing that you need to fill out is like these fields right here. Right, the one that is highlighted in uh, kind of like reddish uh, orange, um, and uh, go to template. This is what you need to fill out. So first, I'm gonna make sure. So the template, when you, once you like download it, um, somehow like the, for some reason they like to hide a lot of um, a few uh, important rows and also a few important columns, which I, I kind of don't understand why they do it. Um, so I am going to um, first um, unhide these uh, uh, rows right here. So you can actually see the lowest level um, field name. And then um, I'm going to expand all the columns. Uh, also, I don't know why they hide it, um, all of it. So I'm going to expand it all here. And uh, you can see you can also create like a parent and child relationship using the flat file as well. I also created like a video just about that. And I'll also link that in the description below. Very handy if you actually want to use flat file for your uh, parentage uh, creation. Uh, hold on. I'm going to expand this everything if you expand everything yeah like i mean there's like a lot of columns 
Okay, so uh, the idea is that I'm going to fill in all the required fields. Once I fill in the required fields, there could be potentially some other required field that they need from you to um, to enter. Um, so what you're going to do is that after you get the error message, you're going to like fill them out again. Um, you're going to not fill them out again. You're basically you're going to um, enter in the missing information and then re-upload. Like doing this, uh, a lot of times there's like a lot of iteration to it because uh, it's actually very difficult to actually get um, everything done in one go. A lot of times you have to upload it, get the error message, re-upload it again, and maybe get another error message. And then maybe you're able to um, actually have it go through and create a listing. So um, the first one, the product feed. So basically this one right here um, would basically be pre-selected for you. So the item skew would be item skew that you actually would cre have created in your... Um, uh, GS1. So um, I would say just try your best to make it um, align as much as possible because nowadays um, Amazon is grabbing a new PC data from um, GS1 itself. So having the SKU actually match the actual UPC will uh, make things a lot easier. So SKU. Um, so this is my SKU brand name. So it's um, so I have two brand names. Um, so this is Sully. So this one here, you have to put on full update, right? So um, if you're actually making an update uh, for existing listing, you put like uh, partial updates. Uh, but in this case, we're creating a listing that's full update. So item name, basically that would be title. Zon Guru. So I'm going to use uh, a listing that I create using Zon Guru. Um, so Zon Guru also link it um, in the actual uh, link below. Um, it's a uh, I use it for uh, listing optimization. I particularly like their um, AI um, listing, listing generator. So I've been using it for a while. Um, this is like a very, in my opinion, like the really good use case for AI. So I'll link the um, trial for Zon Guru below. For people that's interested, we'll get like 50% off for like the first month or something like that. Um, basically, we'll give you a significant discount to start using it. So I'm just going to copy like all the information here. Um, so I have like here, I'm going to external product ID. So the external product ID is based on your um, external product ID type for me would be UPC. And if I go to my GS1, right, um, my, this would be my UPC. So that would be a 12, um, 12 uh, digit number. I'll put it, plunk it here. Uh, listing description. Um, I'm going to, Put uh, whatever I had here, model type, uh, camera case. So closure type, I'm not really too closure type, claps. Um, so again, like these like um, fields, it's very like, um, I think uh, product type specific. So if you're actually selling a different product, for example, you're selling like uh, yoga equipment, this might not be there. Uh, lobster claw, why is it there? Claps, okay. Model, uh, I'm just gonna do uh, zero, zero, 001. So I'm going to also put the same on the model name as well, outer material. So I'm going to do plastic part name. So I'm going to do the same manufacturer, uh, my brand name, um, price. Uh, so what price you want to list it as, um, quantity. I just uh, Initially, I just put it as one. This will change if you actually use FBA. So don't worry about uh, whatever we put here. Adults, target market, I'm going to put unisex. Um, yeah, so basically those are the required information. I am going to give it a try to upload it. And then I'm, I could bet you that I'll probably get an error to telling me that I'm missing a certain information. And if that's the case, I'm going to look at the error message and then fill in the missing information and try uploading again. So let's see how it goes when we try to upload it. So to upload it would be the second tab right here, upload your spreadsheet. So I, uh, basically I upload this uh, sheet right here that I have uh, filled in. And then uh, we are going to submit the products. And then uh, we're just going to wait for everything to load and see what it says um, in terms of status. Uh, it might take a few minutes. So uh, we'll just wait it out. Okay, so um, we waited out for like maybe a few minutes. I think we get some errors. So let's just download the processing summary and see what it says. It probably is telling us that we're missing some information, right? Um, so I just downloaded it. Let's see what it says. Okay, so the actual, so let me see, um, just say process summary. So it's missing all this um, information. Um, so bullet uh, required, a bullet point is missing. So let's fill in the bullet points. Let's fill in um, the following A, S, A, T, A, yeah, B, B, material and country of origin. 
So let's go back. Uh, let's fill in first um, the bullets. So for those that don't know, uh, you could actually create like a clipboard. Um, you could actually enable a clipboard and basically all your um, previous copy and paste um, text can be shown in the history. So um, so basically this one is uh, this one right here. And then the second one would be this one right here, the third one. And to get like the uh, clipboard would be um, the Windows sign if you're using uh, Windows, which I am. And then that would be uh, Windows V and you'll get this clipboard. Um, let's for uh, this one and then to this one right here. Okay, the next, uh, I think it's actually telling me to fill out all this information, all the discovery information here. So let's go back, um, color, color map, department name. So I think that's all under style, style, style. okay. I think that's all under the green here, um, color, um, color map. Um, so I'm gonna do black and uh, it's black. So I don't know what else to say here. A generic keyword, so that would be the back end search term. Uh, so I'm also going to like copy it here. So assuming you already did the work on those uh, department name. Um, yeah, I'm going to use sex, sex adults, uh, size name feature. So let me see if it's asking for size name. Um, no department. Yes. Name item type name. So let's go yeah, material name, item night type name, item type name. So that would be here. So it says like all the red ones seems like, um, yeah, so it seems like uh, the red one right here are the required uh, style name. Um, I, I really don't know what to say here. Um, accessory suitcase cover. No. Nope. Um, travel accessory um, eye mask. Uh, no. Nope. Travel accessory. Uh, so it's just a case for uh, a particular electronics. So uh, what would be closest? I'm going to say, um, I'm just going to say travel container. Um, so style name. So style name. Uh, what can we put? So if you're not too sure what to put, you could actually go to uh, go to the valid uh, values, and then here I will find style. Styling not there. So uh, maybe um, maybe style. Yeah, style style name. Okay, let's just find it over here. Style. Is there anything on style? So I think it's just like an open field. I think you could just put anything here, and I'll just say like. Um, um, so, it's a rectangle rectangle products or rectangle style uh, material type i'm gonna say um yeah, i'm gonna say it's plastic um, and life cycle type this is interesting uh year round perennial right um yeah okay so i think that's all the information uh let's uh re-upload it let's close this uh processing sheet so it don't get confused uh, re-upload it and uh, see what it says oh uh, additional action required let's see what it says um, again uh, there's probably another requirement um, okay let's take a look a uh, value is required okay it's required country of origin um, country of origin field and also the was it the fabric reason for the material fabric regulation dangerous goods regulation so let's just go to the regulation parts of it so that be the country of or origin um and um hold on, what else it's too many fields so a uh, country of origin field that's required let's go find the country of origin fields so okay so this one right here um so it's china so i'm gonna put china and uh, supplier material declaration, um, not applicable. So let's just see, is there any more red colored fields? Uh, I don't think so. So I think um, that's basically should be it. So you can see like in each template, the ones that um, the fields where the value area is like highlighted red is a required field. So it's actually pretty clear cut, but the thing is that you have to check like so many columns to make sure you're not missing any of the required ones so let's give it a try right now again um so this is part of the process i guess with uh, the flat files um uh, once you actually have like an actual completed flat file i would suggest i could probably like save it and so you can use it in the future so let's like give it a try uh the third try here 
their time lucky. Oh, um, there's another, um, let's see what happens here. Yeah, this is part of the process. So it's saying that it is required field for the dangerous goods regulation field. What field is that? Okay, dangerous good regulations fields. So that would be this one, right? Dangerous good regulations. Dangerous good regulations. Let's go back. It's not. Let's find uh, dangerous regulation. So that would be this one right here. I think that would be the first one. You're going to say uh, not applicable, right? Uh, if it's really not applicable to you, that's what you're going to select. But if your product might have some dangerous goods, you might have to like choose um, these other options. So uh, save it. Uh, let's give it a try again. So I think we've kind of covered all their error points. Okay, another error. So let's see what that is about. Uh, you may not use like trademark terms in the keywords. Please. So what keyword do I use that is trademark? Um, there's like a in the keyword attribute. Keyword attribute. So would that be this one right here? Okay. So let me. Um, okay. So I think this. Uh, we're almost finished. Um, so. Okay, so it's just saying that, okay, so I think it went through, but uh, I think it's just these errors um, I gotta have to deal with. Um, it was telling me that this might be a better category to use instead of um, carrier bag case. Uh, your items, you may not use the trademark term and the keywords and the attributes. So again, I'm not too sure which one is that. Um, so I'm not gonna go through it again, uh, but basically, um, that's more or less how you actually, you know, create a new listing uh, using a flat file. I think like these like particular error message, uh, I will actually deal with in a later time. Uh, you are trademark, so I'm not too sure what that is. So I have to double check on that. But it seems like it's just like I just have to get through these two errors. But in terms of like the values I put in here, these all seem valid, right? So I think um, the key thing to do is just like look into errors, keep iterate. So uh, I won't like spend additional time to try to create this. Uh, but you can see, like, um, I actually create like a listing in the same category successfully um, using uh, more or less the same method that I'm just showing you right now. Um, so if you actually want to see like this um, listing, the actual template that went up successful, I'll also link it um, in the description below. Anyways, I hope that this video gives you like good pointers to uh, get you comfortable with using the Amazon flat file to create an Amazon listing. I also have another video on how to actually create, a, uh, update your listing, also create a parent child relationship using flat file that I mentioned, and also will link them below. Other than just marketing and product selection, another part of running a solid Amazon business to run your operation as efficiently and effectively as possible, and using flat file can help you do just that for your Amazon business. Lastly, if you're looking to collect email, build your audience off of Amazon, check out Landing Cube. We are an Amazon selling specific landing page builder for your off Amazon marketing needs such as Google, Facebook, TikTok ads, and also acts as your funnel for your product insert. Sign up now for 21 day free trial in the link below. Until the next video drop, happy selling.